Today we have another vintage Reebok pair that it's over 20 years old, but it has one of the most luxurious uppers that I have in my collection. Hey guys, welcome back to the Kicks channel. Today we're looking at the Reebok Insta Pump Fury Millennium. This one actually is the Lux edition. So this one came in the early 2000s and it was the luxurious version of the Fury Millennium. And Reebok retro this model a couple years back with some mixed acceptance from the community. I personally have a few pairs and I like the model a lot and even more because they actually brought the original DMX6 with it that it's functioning and I really appreciate that. I have OG pairs as well if you guys seen my videos before. But this one I acquired a while back because I knew this one is going to be perfect when it comes to the upper. There will be no issues whatsoever. But some things I did not expect and I'm going to talk to you about it throughout this video. Now if you're going to look at the details, obviously you're going to notice immediately this, this buttery smooth leather all around the upper of the shoe. And again, I'm going to emphasize that throughout the video. They don't make them like this anymore. Uh, this is truly one of the most luxurious pairs of Reebok or any kind of uh, shoes that I have in my uh, collection because the leather is so smooth it creases just by looking at it and it's all around toe box a little bit on the side panels ton or proverbial ton since it's all one piece and even on the heel but in addition even the inner liner the inner liner here is a genuine leather you guys know a lot of these models will come with uh, very nice upper but they will keep fabrics on the inside or some synthetic leather uh, just like on the iverson models even the original ones the answer four answer five uh, they had this kind of a vinyl uh, feeling on the inside it's not genuine leather but this one is completely through and through genuine leather and i absolutely love the feeling because this is going to stay like this forever Unfortunately, with the construction of this DMX6 and what Reebok were trying to do at the time uh, to kind of expose the DMX and make it visible on both lateral and medial side, uh, what they had to create, it's kind of a hard rubber or kind of a soft plastic on those windows on the side so you can kind of peek and see the DMX, not just from the bottom, but also on the side and unfortunately over time this material hardens and cracks and you're going to see it on the close-ups we have some cracks already appearing on that dmx system and that's why on feet section you guys are going to see me walking funny and a little bit weird because i'm trying not to step on my heel too much otherwise these are going to completely break and they're going to crumble and the DMX system is going to be fully exposed and it's going to be game over for, for the midsole. Now, if this was not done like this, if it was just encapsulated, the DMX would have stayed probably for a much, much longer time. And because of the midsole is that polylite, it's not going to crumble, it's not going to disintegrate, it's not going to do any of these things. So it would have not been a problem. Now, the other issue here with this model is the Instapump uh, system because... I assume this particular pair was exposed uh, some in not that great of a conditions or probably the previous owner had them on the sun or somewhere they were on display and what happened is because of the translucency of that uh, bladder uh, most of the bladders on the Instapump Fury if you guys are familiar are kind of a fabric and you can actually see it behind me this is deconstructed original Instapump Fury uh, right there this is the bladder it's fabric so sun does not really affect it that much but when it's translucent like this so the top portion here is uh, see-through uh, and then the sun hits it and this material ages badly and what happened is we had some separation between the bottom and the top layer and on top of that whatever was behind here the, the actual insta pump uh, the, the inflator uh, it started to crumble, similar to what I've seen on the polyurethane of some of the Nike models uh, throughout the years when you have this kind of a polyurethane dust uh, that kind of crumbles and it goes away. So both pumps are not functioning, but regardless, I'm not mad about that. It's, it is what it is. They're not going to be worn anyway uh, because of the D DMX that I explained earlier, but as a display piece and as part of my collection, they are perfect just to witness and enjoy that beautiful leather they have all around i love the little fury they put on the toe box uh, i love the reflective 3m material on the strap on top of the tongue and behind on the heel where the dmx is and we have a kind of a silver riding dmx on the back but but again i wish that you guys can touch this leather it's so soft and nice and especially on the inner liner 
I absolutely love the way the inner liner is done with the genuine leather. We have Reebok Athletics insole, the one that I absolutely love with the arch support. And this one, as always, like back in the day, we have uh, explanation of the DMX system. It says moving cushioning, six pods, heel to forefoot, moving cushioning, and a little diagram of the DMX six. Love these things they used to do to kind of explain the technology. And that insole is perfect. It's never gonna crumble or anything like this. It's gonna stay the way it is for a long, long time. So yeah, what can I say? These are another great find. I mean, a lot of people will probably overlook this model, uh, but let me tell you, when I see a genuine leather, especially genuine leather done like this one, I am uh, really excited and I always try to grab a pair and uh, kind of add it to my collection. Unfortunately, not, not wearable even around the house because I'm so afraid this uh, DMX system is just gonna break these pods in the back and it's going to be game over i'm not going to be able to uh, even have it on display uh, like this beautifully looking but uh, both are perfect they're both in nice super nice leather these are completely ds by the way no wear on the outsole whatsoever uh, the transition bridge is intact and uh, you can feel the uh, dmx still moving underneath gently not hitting the heel but yeah, the leather, man, the toe box uh, and all around the leather is so smooth, uh, so buttery nice. This is absolutely uh, beautiful. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.